talking about visas, and so there's been a conversation for a while over whether the Ghana card could serve as an e-passport. You remember that uh, sometime, even before the beginning of the year, the vice president had indicated that there were some agreements that was going to be made which would allow Ghanaians to be able to travel with their Ghana card um, as an e-passport to a number of countries. In fact, he did say 197, even though we know that there are only 195 countries around the world and some 44,000 airports around the world. And so, eventually, there was a deal that was signed, the International Civil Aviation Organization, along with some reps from the government of Ghana, um, you know, had this, you know, event. And after that, we heard government officials say and officially announced that we could now travel with the Ghana card um, as an e-passport. ICAO came out and said they have no power at all to determine who or what document you use to travel to another country. It is the receiving state that determines what document is allowed. But yesterday, the Foreign Affairs Minister, Honorable Shelley Ayoko Botri, finally answered questions with regards to this on the floor of Parliament, and this is what she had to say. Is the Ghana card an e-passport or its equivalent within ICAO? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's not. By its definition, it is not. Mr. Speaker, the Ghana card is not a replacement to our current biometric passport. The Ghana card may serve as an optional travel document to be used in tandem with our biometric passport. It must be underscored that the passport together with the travel certificate are the only approved travel documents for Ghanaians that are internationally recognized. Um, at the moment, the Ghana card cannot be used for travel to other countries, either within or outside of ECOWAS, as that will require bilateral agreements with countries for their authorities to accept the card as a travel document. The ministry is in active discussion with ECOWAS member states and our bilateral partners to achieve this. However, in light of the announcement by the Ghana Immigration Service titled Notice to the Public, use of Ghana card as a travel document which was dated 24th of February, Ghanaian and dual national holders of the Ghana card would be able to travel to Ghana using the Ghana card. All right, so that is Honorable Shirley Ayoko Boche. Kofi, I'm starting off with you. Okay. So this is the Foreign Affairs Minister saying that you cannot travel with the Ghana card as an e-passport. But we had government officials trying to, um, you know, uh, convinced Ghanaians that that statement that was made, even by the vice president, before this deal was signed, um, meant that in actual fact we could travel with the Ghana card as an e-passport. If we lie. Bella, when you are traveling, mm -hmm. you are required to have two documents, um, a passport and a visa. Mm. And the passport and the visa can come in several forms. Sometimes you don't necessarily need to carry you know, a passport. You need to show an identification that this is who you are. And a visa can also it's come in several that. forms. Mm. Sometimes it can come in that sticker that you see, or it can even come in a statement or email, yeah. as long as it allows you to go. So when we have the Ghana card, okay, it's, it, 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 it was seven, or it still serves as an identification um, card, mm. okay. So when we went to the account, and the intention of the government of the day is that at the end of the day, you'll be able to carry your Ghana card and travel. Okay, that negotiations are still ongoing. Currently, as we speak, if you are a Ghanaian and you are traveling from, say, the United States or any other country, and you are coming into Ghana, you can use your Ghana card to travel. Can you just stop? You can? You can, yes. I've had people. I work with the Ghana um, consulate in New York. Mm -hmm. You can travel with your Ghana card. To there Ghana. are people who have shown their Ghana card and yes, been allowed I, I, to board. I've been told. I've been told. I've, I haven't done that. Oh, you've been told? Yes, that okay. people will travel to Ghana okay. and will be able to use their, 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 their Ghana card. But who as said it exactly? As, as long as... Who told you that? Oh, when you go to the airport, your booth that checks your no, Ghana card for you. You say you've been told. Who told you? Oh, by people who... who? Travelers. Which people? Do you get it? Mm. Can, you, can I make my point? Please, let me make my point. So... Yes, it serves as a means of identification. It serves that, okay, you, if you are Muntala, mm. that is you. Then, if you are required a visa. So, for example, if you're a Ghanaian traveling to Ghana mm -hmm. and you have a Ghanaian passport, you don't, and let's say you are a dual citizen or you are a citizen of another country or you've naturalized for another country, mm. you do not require a visa to enter into Ghana. However, if you don't have a passport and now Ghana card, 
then you need a visa to travel to Ghana. Okay. You get it. So now if, for example, you have a U.S. passport and then you have a Ghana passport, you do not necessarily need to go and take a visa to come to Ghana or you don't need a passport to come to Ghana. Mm. What the Minister for Foreign Affairs said is that the Ghana card is not a substitute for the passport we have, the biometric passport we have. Okay. And that is true because, for example, you cannot use the Ghana card to travel to Nigeria or to even any of the West African countries because that agreement we haven't reached there yet. It's a process that is ongoing. Okay. So when she says that the Ghana card is not the passport or e-passport, she's right. When the uh, vice president says the Ghana passport will serve as an e-passport, he's also right because at the end of the day, that is the intent, that is the goal, and that's what we are working towards. Currently, like I, I've said. So you're working towards it? Yes. Like so why were we told that wait, now but, the Ghana but, card but could I've be also used made the point as an e-passport? Because the notion out deep. there was mm -hmm. that then once you have a Ghana card, you can use it in place of your passport, but we, which is I, the notion I that was out there. I the chief of staff to the vice president, came out later to explain. After the confusion. I, 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 yeah, I, well, I heard him on CT explaining. Mm. That it's a process that is ongoing. We are still having the conversation the chief of staff as to other countries accepting the Ghana card as a means mm. to transport. But like I'm saying, you, when you are a Ghanaian, you are traveling from any other country to Ghana. You can use your Ghana card and you'll be able to enter Ghana. So I think this is a matter of explaining the situation. But why were we so quick to announce it then, if we knew that it was a process and we had to go through the entire process Bella, to ensure? Again, I say this with a lot Because of we announced it without that bilateral relation acceptance between us and whatever country it is, yeah. that you can actually use that. So imagine if there were Ghanaians that decided to go to the airport after that announcement and said, and go to my vice president says, I can use my Ghana card to travel. But they would have been stuck at the airport. Well, first of all, like I said, when you are traveling, you are required to have two documents, your passport and your visa. So nobody can go to, for example, um, 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 the airport and say, I'm traveling to country A or country B when you don't have a visa. Now, we don't have um, e-visas yet where you can have your visa um, um, maybe on your phone to show that you show your Ghana card. Now, the visas are stickers. So, for example, if I'm traveling to UK, you need your visa to be in a passport. Your visa cannot be on a Ghana card. So you definitely cannot travel or you can't go to an airport and say, okay, I have my Ghana card, allow me to travel. But the point I'm making, however, is that when you work with any of our consulates, mm. our foreign missions, you have Ghanaians, of course, who have naturalized. For one reason or the other, they don't have any Ghanaian identification, mm -hmm. either the passport or the Ghana card. Now, what this was doing is that, for example... If you don't have a Ghana passport, you are required to have a Ghana passport, or you need a visa. You have to apply for a visa, go through the processes, mm. and pay for a Ghana uh, visa. Okay? Some people don't like the idea. So now, when you come to Ghana, you are required to use your Ghana card to do a lot of things. Okay? So when you're able to acquire the Ghana card, you might necessarily not need a passport if you are in the U.S. and you intend traveling to Ghana often. With your Ghana card, you'll be okay. Yeah. You, you might not need, you, not that you might not need, you will not need a visa even with your U.S. passport. But with the Ghana card, you'll be able to travel. So I am saying that for now, you cannot travel to other countries. Even the ECOWAS sub-region? Because no, at a cannot, point, we have been told that we could travel within the ECOWAS sub-region For as now, well. that, that, that agreement has not been, and that's exactly what the foreign um, minister said. Why not the rush we, then? Not until we get there. I think for now, what she said is right. Why was there a rush to announce this? But I've told you. Why was there a rush? I've I know you've you explained, but the question then is, why did we rush to announce it? I don't think it was it? a rush. There was a need for Ghanaians to know what we are doing. And that's what governance is all about. No. We need to be no. transparent. No. So we you announced before people. you complete the process? We announced that what? You announced before you... The vice president spoke. That. He did speak. That. He said that very soon we're going to be able to and he said that there's going to be a deal. Oh, yeah, in, said in fact, he said the first quarter. By the end, he said, hold on. Hold on. He said by the end of the first quarter of 2022, okay. Ghanaians will be able to use their Ghana card as an e-passport. But I'm saying that the process is ongoing. We've gone past the first quarter. It's still ongoing. We will We've get gone there. past the first quarter. We'll get there. Anyway, comrade. Bella, you see, I sometimes I, I weep for my senior brother, Dr. Baumia. I don't know whether you guys do it deliberately to embarrass him to 
to demean him. Are you asking me a question that I should respond? Your party, your government. I don't no. know why you guys do this. Allow him to. Why allow you guys him do this to him? Yeah. Honestly, I, I, I am in NDC, an avowed NDC member. But sometimes I feel for my senior brother, Dr. Bomi. Or is it because you guys see him as a stranger to your party? You know, if you challenge that, read the... Should I respond? No. Hold I'm, on, I'm, please. Let him a make his point. You've noted down it's, and you can respond afterwards. It's a rhetorical question. <laughs> rhetorical questions, they don't necessarily answer. I'll answer. You see? <laughs> <laughs> so, honestly, I, the, the vice president said that you could now travel with Ghana card and you can use it in 44,000 airports published by the Daily Graphic. It's here. It dim PPP. And she, what do you say? It dim. It dim means. I don't even know what they say. And she, when you say, yeah, Gafili Gadochi. It's there. He said it. Now, what this minister said was embarrassing to the vice president. And in fact, when he made that statement, you people went to town with it. Even currently, when he said, oh, he's been told. Ah, the, the, the first persons to have used that to travel would have been you. The airport, you go in checking, they won't accept it. Either UK or anywhere. Even if you go to Togo and you are coming to Ghana with your Ghana passport, they won't accept it. But if you're coming to Ghana, they would. No, I'm saying that... There the, was a record of some 10, I, I 10 Ghanaians who came in. I said the flight, the, 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 the airlines mm. are not accepting it. But there was a record of some Ghanaians who came in, about 10 of them, me, were told were able to show their Ghana card. And at the airport? Which airport? At the airport. Which airport, at the airport? Which which airport? airport again? Could, there was one who said she came from New York. And they she was interviewed. And she said the process was so smooth because Why? she just had to show it's not her Ghana card oh, at the oh, immigration this checkpoint. This MPP food soldier, let me tell you. People, <laughs> several people <laughs> attempted that and they were embarrassed. Several people oh, no, attempted well, let me give that. This education. I don't hold need on, that hold education. on, Kofi. You come in, please. If you need that, give that education to Dr. Baumia, not me, because he has messed up, and you guys are embarrassing him every day deliberately. I'm saying that some attempted it, and they were embarrassed. UK, United States, uh, America, Australia, Canada, people attempted that. But there were some who came in, and I'm who? just reading about who? it. says here, let me just read. This is a City Newsroom uh, report uh, on the 1st of March 2022. It says that about 10 Ghanaian passengers and dual nationals have successfully arrived in the country using the Ghana card as an e-passport. Where did they The use passengers it? went through due process at the Kotoka International Airport to verify their cards through the National Identity Register. So it says here that uh, one of them said, I mostly use my passport when traveling into the country. I gave the immigration agents my card and in less than two minutes i was asked to leave i feel everybody should go in for the ghana card this is one of the people Bella, you are, who used it you are, you, are, you are talking about completely no, I, no i'm just telling you that there were some that Bella, came into in, the country they claim and they showed. use it at kotoka uh -huh. we were told that you can use it in forty-four thousand airport take kotoka out of forty-four thousand. how many airports will be left do you have any other airport in ghana you'll be left with thirty-nine thousand nine hundred and, and and whatever 99 airports we were told that you use it in 44,000 airports. So this idea of 10 pe pe people, and what we just read, expose them the more. You've read about what they claimed they used the Ghana passport at Kutuka. They didn't even use that one alone. They used it with their passport. So stop. You see, he says that it, when we ask him why they're right, he said that is all about governance. No, governance is about honesty, sincerity, transparency. Unfortunately, you guys are lacking in all this. Why would you rush? into lying to the people of this country. Why would you do that? Assuming there was a Ghanaian who was traveling to Ghana and decides that because I'm going to Ghana, mm. I put my passport in my luggage and check it in. I'm going to board with my, my Ghana passport. They would have sent that person home. But you, you should just write something. In Ghana, right? they claimed in Ghana here, no, Kotoka. From other country. Which country? Ghana. Which country? She read it. They, okay. they, so so I, what I read, what, hold on. What, did you what I read was? is some Ghanaians who were coming into the country. Yes. When they got to the Kotoka International yeah, Airport, that is when they showed they it. their Ghana card. But that's not what they used to board the flight from I, I, where, I wherever they education. were coming no, from. No, I don't need it. You let him land. I haven't let him land. You give your education in. to Dr. Bowen. I mean, I'll I don't, give it to you. I don't need it. You need it. Except that you want to give it to me so that when I'm when I get to Tamil, I proceed to Walwa and leave it there. I am saying that we don't need this. He told us 44,000. What Bella read is about what allegedly or purportedly happened at Kotoka. Mm -hmm. And I said, take Kotoka out of the 44,000 airport. You'll be left with about 43,999 airports. So that is the point I'm making. So, and you said that governance is about informing people, but don't lie to people. But what, what's the lie here? The 44,000, when the Dr. Bowman publicly stated 
that you could now travel with Ghana passport. The Minister for Foreign Affairs is telling everybody that that is not true. You can't do that. The airlines themselves do not accept it. There must be a process mm. to be able to synergize, if you like, the, 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 our system with the systems of those countries, even including the airlines. He says be they're working because on Because you it. see, even uh -huh, you are working on something you haven't done that and you announced for months. If you, are, you travel, and I remember but when... The commission project is not... Don't even go there. Which project? You make your point. Why well, is it I a case of Agama Lizard? No, I'll make uh, it. So, so the point I'm making is that even the Ghanaian passport, some can, can procure a fake Ghanaian passport. Mm. Even at the airport, they, they would have to ascertain whether you are holding a valid Ghanaian passport. Mm -hmm. It's not only the validity of the visa that is being checked at the airport, even the validity of the passport. I remember when I was the Secretary General of the Oil African Students Union, I was going to Paris. We use uh, uh, the, the, the Libyan airline, uh, Afrikia. Mm. You know, they used to have this airline. Tripoli, I saw a lot of Nigerians, Nigerians who were detained because they were using Ghanaian passports. And when I interacted with someone, they, they admitted that yes, they were Nigerians, they procured it in Ghana. And they were not genuine passports because at that time, the Libyan go government instituted a system at their airport to be able to detect whether you are holding a valid passport. And they could not have done that without collaborations with the Ghanaian authorities. Mm. So you haven't done this with the so-called 44,000. Then you are telling everybody, you see, when you have a government that has failed, they always want to show that we are doing something. But Unfortunately, if you say they failed, I mean, just because of this instance, unemployment you're saying is nineteen percent is a failure. Dollar to CD is eight point four this morning is a failure. Debt to GDP is almost eighty three percent is a failure. How much do you buy petrol? Except those who get coupons from MP. That's, that's why. That, that's why. That's why. I he have says he doesn't get coupons. Except those. But, that, but that, we're told that well, fewer. You said you don't get coupons. How does it even look like? Eh? How, How does it? You don't know what a coupon. No, You've I, never I, I, received a no, fewer coupon no. ever. How does it look, ever. I don't know I how see. it looks like. You see, how does it look like? <laughs> you see, there's a saying. Well, that, so you that, and I are buying fuel just no, like comrade no, as well. Does, he doesn't. Maybe he gets free fuel. You <laughs> and I. How much is truck truck fares now? Where are <laughs> the jobs? Let's Insecurity. Quickly, and you are let's quickly throw it back. Let's listen to the vice president when he made this statement on the Ghana card, which will be used as an e-passport. The identity of people even dead people can be established using their fingerprints. Ghanaian and other embassies abroad will be able to establish the identity of Ghanaians using fingerprints. Identity can be established even without the Ghana card. As long as you are enrolled on the database and you, you, you put your fingers on the application, you can be uh, verified. It is not widely known, ladies and gentlemen, that the Ghana card is also an e-passport that contains biometric information that can be used to authenticate the identity of travelers. The government, since this year, has been working with the International Civil Aviation Authority organization, ICAO, to globally activate the e-passport function of the Ghana card. And I'm happy to announce, I am happy to announce that on 13th October this year, the Ghana officially became the 79th in member of the International Civil Aviation Organization Public Key Directory Com Community. Ghana's country signing certificate authority would therefore soon be imported into the PKD system through what is known as a key ceremony. The key ceremony for Ghana will be held at ICAO headquarters in Montreal before the end of the first quarter of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, what does the, all this mean? This means that by the end of the first quarter next year, the Ghana card will be recognized globally as an e-passport and can be read and verified in all ICAO compliant borders. That is 197 countries, 44,000 airports in the world. Kobe.
First of all, we don't have 197 countries in the world. No, no. Who, who, First of all, we don't have 197 countries in the world. The vice president said that we it will be recognized in 197 countries in the world. We have only 195. Why are you doing this? Who wrote the speech? Bella, Honorable Mutana it was deliberate. has been extremely unfair to the vice president. Ah. How has he and been I think unfair? He's done this on purpose. Why? And the vice president... Did I write the 197? I kept quiet for you to talk. First of you all... You mentioned my name. The vice um, president... Come and please said, allow him, yes. The vice president said, we are working with ICAO. We but before he said we are working, I, Kofi, hold on. Let's point. be can fair. Before he said it, he said that the Ghana card is now recognized as an e-passport that is embedded with our biometric details. But he said, he said that. that. It's Bella. a process. We are not there yet. He never said we are, Bella. We, we are there. But he, he said, said it is a, now recognized no. as an e-passport. Okay. Let me Bella, go back. I, I quoted Daily Graphic. Just, uh, no, uh, you but said you that. just watched the vice president. Hold on. Can Come on, please allow him. Come on, please allow him. I'm aligned the vice president. Hold on, hold on. We've listened to what the vice president has said. We're using his own words. He said that the Ghana card is now an e-passport. Embedded with a biometric. No, he never said that. Go back. We are now waiting for the PKDs to be embedded into our Ghana card. That's what he said. We you just played it. Already. You, do you want to go back and We just play played it. it. That's Let's play movie. again. Let's play again. Play just to be Kofi, sure so that we can get it I right. I would recommend Coco and Kosi every morning for you. That's what I like though. You didn't Let's play it again, morning. please. No, I didn't. That's the identity of people, even dead people, can be established using their fingerprints. Ghanaian and other embassies abroad will be able to establish the identity of Ghanaians using fingerprints. Identity can be established even without the Ghana card. As long as you are enrolled on the database and you, you, you put your fingers on the application, you can be uh, verified. It is not widely known, ladies and gentlemen, that the Ghana card is also an e-passport. So, oh, I wish it had played to. Kofi, so do you hear now? He says if that you can even use me. your can uh, biometrics. No, he has to apologize can I make to me. The point? First. Can I make Hold the on. He said, I'm a apologize no. to me. You are my brother. No, you still need to apologize to the vice president. Why? Oh. The, the point is Come clear. Come and please allow no, him. The point is clear. So you've heard him again for the yes. second time. Yes, the point is clear. <laughs> One, Ghana has an intention to ensure that the Ghana card mm. will be used as an e passport. Mm. Okay? That process is ongoing. And two, I've also told you, we've had people, and you've read it here, that are using the Ghana card to enter into Ghana. You are talking about the airlines declining, you know, Ghana card. Mm. The, I'm telling you, <clears throat> as a matter of somebody who works with the Ghana consulate, that the airline receives instructions from the foreign affairs. They talking? can never do anything without them. So if foreign affairs say, can you just stop? If foreign affairs say, for example, you should use your phone mm -hmm. as a means of transport to Ghana, they will have no qualms with it. They would have to agree with it. So why okay. did the vice president no, speak over the foreign affairs ministry? No, no I'm making a <laughs> Was point. it not the position of the point. foreign affairs ministry to rather a... make this statement no. instead of the vice president? That, 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 that is about my pay grade. Who is supposed to speak? I don't determine that. But the foreign but affairs the fact ministry needs is in to charge remain. of the these matters. The fact needs to remain that we have a vice president, we have a government that is committed to making sure that this country is digitized. Things are made seemingly easy for mm. everybody exactly. to have. So the Ghana car, for example, when your people told the good people of this country that they should not go out there and register their names and take their biometrics so that they'll be able to have a Ghana card, your people, your general secretary, told your people that don't go out there and register your name for the Ghana cards. Then just a week ago, the chairman of your party said, everybody go out there and get your Ghana card. You see the hypocrisy and the Ghana, the I, double standard. I, I, I we not. are committed. Bella, the point is that, mm -hmm. okay, whether <laughs> that intention, that, 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 that goal has been achieved yet or not, we need to applaud the vice president for at least having that idea, the creativity, to ensure that at the end of the day, Ghana card is coming to become the sole identification card to be used for all business transactions in this country. Every Ghanaian everywhere will be able to have that card. We should applaud for him me, for also for me, putting out a wrong statement. Even I cow tweeted... I, I stand I by the fact that it was never a wrong statement. Hold on. So I cow tweeted... And right. Let's just read this. We'll take a break and come back. I cow said it is aware, and this was on Twitter... ICAO is aware of recent and incorrect media reports claiming that ICAO has agreed that the Ghanaian ID card is equivalent to an e-passport. However, it is not ICAO's role 
to certify the use of a state's identity card for international travel in place of a passport. It is the sovereign right of each individual state to decide upon its entry and exit requirements and the documents that need to be presented by those traveling to and or from its territory. So clearly, Akao says that whatever was put out there was wrong. You say we should applaud the vice president for even being creative, even if he put out a wrong statement? Akao is an international body. Yes. That works on making sure yes, your means of identification to travel is recognized globally, okay? Okay. Is, is one process to get to the end. Yeah. And then making sure your countries accept that particular identification is a, is, is, is a bilateral relationship. It's a bilateral agreement that mm -hmm. must happen between Ghana and the other countries. But that hadn't happened and the vice president spoke. But the process of getting there is what the vice president spoke about. He didn't say he there was a process. He Jesus says that he said we it are is working. now... The fact that he didn't use the word... Anyway, <laughs> no. anyway, let's take a I'm quick good. break. When better, we come back, we'll better, continue. Better. The comrade, hold on. We'll take a quick break. Please stay with us. We'll be back to continue.